Hello, and thank you for tuning in to Auto E-Clinic. My name is Aaron, this is Mike. Uh, what we're going to go over today is a really quick and simple and most effective way of changing the oil. That's something that everybody does, all the vehicles need, and you're going to do a lot to your vehicle over a lifetime. Oil is pretty much the life of the car, correct? Yes. You're going to do a lot of changing oil, so this is something we found that just make it quick and easy for you. First steps I always do is remove the oil cap, pull up your dipstick, raise the vehicle, and drain the oil. Draining the oil is very simple. Remove your old drain plug. Always look at your washer or your gasket while you're there. Let it drain all the way, put it back in, and change your... Anytime you change the oil in the car, you want to change the oil filter. What I found easiest and best to get the oil filter off with is a simple, cheap, inexpensive set of oil filter pliers. I can pretty much get to 99.9% .9 of all filters with a pair of oil filter pliers. On this particular car, the oil filter is up top. Use your oil filter pliers and remove it. Very simple. When you remove the old filter, make sure the gasket comes off with it. Sometimes they will stick to the block and that can cause some major problems. What I found easy and quick is take your new filter, match it up with your old filter, get you a nice coating of oil on it, also tells you it's the same filter, and just hand tighten the new filter on. That's all it takes. Now fill it up with oil. Yep. A very good rule of thumb on any vehicle is put four quarts of oil in it and check it. That'll give you a baseline and that'll make sure you do not overfill or underfill. Overfilling is just as bad as underfilling. Once you get your four quarts of oil in, always start the car. Let it run for about 10 seconds. Then you know the oil filter is full, and then you can check the oil for the proper level. And we are dead on our full mark. Now, I know it's kind of redundant that we went over an oil change, but we did that to give you our experience in this and try to make it a little easier and quicker for you. I know it's a simple procedure, but we've learned over the years uh, tricks here and there to make it just much quicker. It's something you're going to do a lot of in a vehicle. Exactly. And the best mileage that you want to change your oil is around 3,000 miles. We found out over time between cars of old, cars of new, uh, best maintains the engine's lifespan. Correct. Uh, if you don't change the oil over 3,000 miles, or what I've seen where people uh, neglect it, they have a lot more maintenance problems and a lot more repair problems versus just keeping the oil changed every 3,000 miles. You've owned cars old and new, and you've seen the difference, correct? Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you've owned an old car, you tear down the engine. A new car, you tear down the engine for some problem. It's a lot cheaper to change your oil every 3,000 miles than do an engine repair or replacement. Even in the repair aspect, if you do have to have it repaired, it's even more expensive to repair an engine that has not been properly maintained at every 3,000 mile intervals. Uh, there's a lot more expense in cleaning. At that point, I've seen engines you have just to bake to get all the crud out of because it wasn't properly maintained. Oh yeah, because over time, oil loses its properties to actually lubricate and clean the engine. That's one thing oil does is, as well, as many people don't realize, it actually cleans the combustion gases out of the engine. Correct, detergents in the oil. Detergent. Now, have you seen a certain brand of oil you like better, or do you have any uh, knowledge you can bestow upon us for that? As far as the branding of oil, most of them are pretty much at an industry standard. You know, it has to be to meet certain criteria and specifications. Uh, you know, you do have the standard conventional oil and the synthetic oil. What do you recommend versus conventional and synthetic? Uh, I would recommend running a synthetic oil just because of the lubricating properties, uh, sticks, you know, clings to the engine parts better. I'm going to disagree there. I'm very happy with conventional. As long as you change it every 3,000 miles, I've not seen an issue yet, as long as it's done every 3,000 miles. Now, synthetic, you can go a little longer on, though, correct? Yeah, you can go a little longer, and that's the biggest argument between the two. You know, you can stretch your mileage out a little bit. You know, it may cost more up front, but you can run it an extra few thousand miles, so just depending upon what you'd want to go. Correct, and a lot of manufacturers now even recommend or specify only synthetic oil on the newer stuff, correct? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Um, well, thank you for joining Ottawa Clinic. 
Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Auto e Clinic. My bad. <laughs> I, I thought you were going to keep rolling oh, with it. No, like us on our Facebook page. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just email us at AutoEClinic at gmail.com. Thanks for tuning in again. And remember, speed limits are more of a guideline. You don't really have to follow them exactly. No, not exactly. Yeah.